So I was thinking more about laying out uh, horizontal alignments using FreeCAD, and it occurred to me the more traditional approach to alignment design and highway engineering uh, might actually serve really well here in FreeCAD. Uh, and the approach is rather straightforward. Um, it's not something that occurred to me because I don't typically do it in the course of my professional work, but I've seen it done often enough, I, I should know better. Uh, but what I find hel really helps, um, as I've mentioned in another video, is, is laying out a, a line that's tied to the origin of the, of the document uh, going straight up. This basically represents what I like to call true north. Then from there, I start at my origin and I lay out my first curved tangent, which just follows the straight section of the roadway here like that. And before I go any further, I'm going to take an angle constraint and I am going to lock my initial tangent to true north. So that basically, 141.9 degrees basically gives me the bearing of that tangent section of roadway to true north. And then I'll go back and just draw some straight lines along the other straight segments of roadway to lay out the remainder of my tangents. They don't have to be perfect, they just got to be reasonable, I guess. And then I can go back and I can coincidentally constrain the ends of those tangents to each other. And I want to go back and delete these horizontal and vertical constraint locks because they're not going to help me. And now what I've basically created in terms of transportation engineering are the PIs or points of intersection for all of the curves. So I've basically laid out the curve tangents and their corresponding points of intersection. And I just kind of zoom in a bit to make sure they line up. It's not super critical to get it right on, at least not at the start because things are going to move anyway. But I can't help it. So we kind of get them lined up like that, and these are basically, I'm, what this tells me is I've got three points of intersection, which means I've got three curves to lay out. It's fairly obvious. So then I go back and I start laying out my curves. We'll just draw one here, draw one there, draw one right there. And then I'm going to coincidentally constrain them to the tangents, the ends of my curves, so that they always lie on the tangent lines that I've laid out. And now if I go and I drag my PIs around a little bit, you'll see that the curves track with the PIs. Now, they're not tangentially constrained to those tangents like they should be, but they are at least coincidentally. So that the curves always lie on the on the uh, tangents even if they're not even if the ends of them aren't tangential to the tangents. Um, okay, so once I've got that part done, then I have to go back and in order to really make this work right, I actually have to add the tangent sections between the curves. So in this case, I'll take my first tangent section and coincidentally constrain to the origin and tangentially constrain to the PC or the point of curvature of my first curve and lay out another line for this section here and we'll delete that horizontal constraint and tangentially constrained to the PT of the first curve and tangentially constrained to the PC of the next and then we'll do this again for the between the last two curves tangentially constrain that one tangentially constrain there and then one more to take us from the PT of the final curve to the end of our alignment. So there I tangentially constrain. And then on this last one I will coincidentally constrain. Alright, so now I've basically built my alignment with my curves, my tangent sections in between, and my long tangents, which provide my points of intersection for my curves. Now I can go through and I can adjust my PIs. and just visually line them up. Now of course I need to kind of reduce the radius of my curves a little bit kind of make things line up a little better. There's a little bit of trial and error involved and part of the reason that it's doing it's uh, being kind of a challenge is because I'm not really if I, if I wanted to make this behave a little better 
all I'd have to do is as I set these curves and I feel pretty confident is just con is just constrain these curves and these tangent sections a little bit more for example I could constrain the radius so that so that radius can't change or constrain the length of this tangent so it can't get shorter and, and the more constraints I add of course the less this is gonna move as I go along so I can kinda lock down my alignment by applying constraints as I go which I'm not really um, which I'm not really doing here we need to actually bring that in quite a bit of course that's really gonna throw things off but it doesn't take long before you actually start to zero in on on a resulting alignment that eh, overall you know just for just for a few minutes of quick work doesn't look terrible <laughs> uh, but overall you can see that this workflow then really lends itself well to developing horizontal alignments in FreeCAD and it lines up very nicely with traditional workflows in uh, transportation engineering